So Mr. Ollivander has lost his... Oh! His heirloom. That was rather rude, mm -hmm. shutting the door. Mm -hmm. I was coming mm -hmm. through. <sighs> we could probably do with maybe picking up a few bits while we're in... Um, Hogsmeade. What a glorious day! Very Demi. nice. Any pages? No. Oh, sorry, sir. I don't know about demiguises. Demiguises. What is a demiguise? Oh, that's what was troubling the um, the janitor. Was it not the caretaker? Hmm. I wonder if he's still here. I'll scout around Felcroft for something to poach. What? Uh. Ooh. Poach a stalker. Always like a polite. Oh no! Battle. Come out, the Protect I'm us. sure it'll be hot running home. You'll feel yeah. quite the pain. Ah, so close. Oh! Oh! Feel a burning sensation. Are you insistent? Ah! There we go. Aha! You scum! Yes. You will fall. Take it. Oh. These rounds sleep a bit easier now. What's this? A Wigan well potion. Well, marvelous. We might just have to use that. Top ourselves up. What's this? Gold. What were they doing here? Just lurking around. Quidditch robe. I... Oh, it was just peaches. Hmm. What's that noise? Hmm. Revelio. Is there a? a... Oh, what's this? Moonstone, marvellous. Oh, I shall enjoy this. Excuse me. Revelio. Ah, what's this little item? Is this another Merlin troll? Do you suppose? Possibly. Incendio. Maybe. Looks a little like a Merlin trail, doesn't it? Let's see what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. Yes. You little mallow sweet. Oh. So. Hmm. Is it? Okay. Incendio. No. Maybe. No. Ah. That's amazing. What? What's this? Lacewing flies. Hmm. Okay. Well. Marvelous. Hmm. Oh. Goodness, I've wandered off the beaten path. I'll get myself lost. Ah, Hogsmeade. Here we are. Excuse me. Sorry. Thank you. Ah, oh, marvelous. 
I hope Mr. Ollivander's okay. And it, ooh, hello. What's this? Seridwin's Precacious Cauldrons. This precariously stacked set of cauldrons outside Seridwin's advertises the shop's wares. It should be noted that stacking cauldrons in this fashion, while admittedly eye-catching, is ill-advised for anyone wishing to brew a potion for any intended effect. Hmm. Yes, it is very eye-catching indeed. Um. Uh, oh, a cat. Hello. How lovely. Little kitty. Well, let's um, go have a look at here. Wow, that is a big cauldron. Mm. My goodness. So, ooh. Ah, there's a page out there. Okay, well, good luck with your cauldrons. So where's that page? Ah, there it is. Oh, excuse me, sir, sorry. Ah, God, there's another one. Oh my God. Oh, yeah. My family has a lot of Mr. Ollivander. Here we go. Hello, sir. Good of you to come. My friend, Professor Fig, speaks highly of you and your resourcefulness. He was vague as to details, but mentioned your having tracked down a difficult-to-find book. Yes. I wondered if you'd be willing to do a little detective work on my behalf. Um. Sounds intriguing. Of course, Mr. Ollivander. Sounds most up my street. Wonderful. You see, about a century ago, an heirloom Applewood wand with a fairy wing core went missing from this very shop. My great-aunt suspected a student named Richard Jackdaw. He'd been serving as an assistant here and suddenly vanished. Oh. Richard Jackdaw? Like the bird. In fact, he was known to frequent the Hogwarts Owlery. We searched there, of course, but found no wand. Oh, dear. We did find a series of statues similar to Jackdaw's. I'm certain they're a clue, but I cannot figure out where they lead. Jackdaw was last heard tittering about some pages with a map he'd stolen from Peeves. As you can imagine, the poltergeist was less than helpful. I'm not surprised. Um, hmm. Why that wand? Is there anything special about the wand? Oh, yes. It's terribly special. But not in the way you might think. It won't grant special powers to the caster, no. Nothing like that. But it will ease the hearts and minds of the Ollivanders to know of its return. And that power is immeasurable. No. Oh, um, well, why did he steal it? Why would the thief have taken the wand? I must admit I have no idea. From what I can gather, he fancied himself an adventurer of sorts. Oh. Always looking for trouble. <laughs> in fact, after he went missing, rumour had it his ghost was seen in Hogsmeade. Oh dear. Never heard much about him after that. But it seems as if his adventurous spirit may have got the better of him. Perhaps he thought that the wand had some special power simply because of its esteemed lineage. Astonishing how misunderstood the art of wand making is. Why don't you continue searching the Owlery? Surely you could continue searching the Owlery. Oh, one would think. However, the headmaster does not take kindly to an old wand maker loitering about the place. Mm. Can't say I blame him. No. Also, I have perhaps been looking for too long. I feel a fresh set of eyes and a bright mind like yours is sure to solve this riddle. Well, I'll see what I can find. I'll have a look for you. You've certainly given me plenty to go on. Oh, you've brought hope to this old wand maker's heart. Professor Fig was right. You are a remarkable student. Well, hmm. Jackdaw. Hmm. Sounds very curious. Very curious. What's. Oh, what? Golden snitch in Bodmin Moor. If anyone ever knew how to keep Probably muggles not. out, it was Hengist of Woodcroft. Hmm. Godric Griffin. Well, I suppose I should head back to. 
the castle. Maybe I should um, get some items while I'm here. Oh, so that's the Owlery. Wow. Seems to be a lot of those crows around. Very um, Rebellion. strange indeed. Uh, hmm. Uh, what's that? Oh, one of those toadstools I don't need anymore. I wonder why... There must be a reason he's stolen the wand. There must be. It doesn't just happen for no reason. Maybe he was going to perform some strange magics or something? Hmm. All possible. Likely pr probable. Hmm. Crystal. Take it. Thank you. Might be useful to us at some point. Look at these owl sculptures. Very nice. Okay. What? 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 Oh, it's an owl. Hmm. Rebellion. Another chest. Statues Mr. Ollivander mentioned must be upstairs amongst the owls. Hmm. Burgundy Quidditch gloves. These are very nicely carved owls, aren't they? Oh, hello. Um. Don't mind me. I'm afraid I don't have anything for you. Any owl treats. I don't have an owl. I would like an owl. I think an owl would be a wonderful companion. Wow. Very pretty owls. Hmm. Don't mind me, owls. I'm here to help a friend. Now, where are those statues? Is it just a case? Okay. I ah. recognise them. Oh, this will do nicely. Oh, what's this? Oh, gold. Okay. Um, well. Hmm. I'd best keep looking. Yes. Terribly sorry. I think the jackdaw statue. What's this? A jackdaw statue. Ha. Huh. Oh, no statues here. Hmm. In there. Oh, here's a welcome surprise. Some gold. One at the top there. <gasps> There's another one. Mm, nothing. What was that? Another jackdaw statue. Hmm. This seems. Ah. Hogwarts Owls. School owls and owls owned by students can be found in the Hogwarts Owlery. One is advised to explore carefully, keeping an eye out for owl droppings and regurgitated mouse skeletons. Lovely. Hmm. There's another one. Empty perches. Could be the right size for jackdaws. Or oh, statues of jackdaws. Hmm, so... Oh, do they all need to go here? Hmm. Do they have to be in an order, or...? Rebellion. Ah, there's two more. Hmm. Assumably we can go up. They hmm. might be up here. Birds aren't afraid of heights. Perhaps I should look a bit higher. Perhaps. Yes, here we go. Here. Brilliant. Okay. Oh. oh. I'll take that, thank you. Yes, we'll, we'll, we'll do them all while we're here. Oh. I'd best keep looking. No statues here. <laughs> Another one there. Oh. I'd best keep looking. Another page. Oh, there's more of them. Oh, this will do nicely. Hmm. No statues here. here. Another Here's little something for surprise. us. All right. I think mm, that's nothing. everything. All right. Mosey on down and collect everything. <gasps>
Hmm. Well, let's put these uh, birds back. What's there happening? we go. Oh! solved my puzzle after all these years well done indeed good news if you've got something to hide you found the perfect spot Richard Jackdaw at your service oh the Richard perfect. Jackdaw so Mr. Ollivander was right he wants his family wand back goodness I'd forgotten about that wand I assure you I don't have it on me I'm almost certain I dropped it the moment I was beheaded in that cave oh dear Oh, it was sheer folly to follow that map. What map? Ridiculous, really. Found it on some yellowed old pages Peeves had pilfered. Thought I could impress a girl. But that's a story for another day. So, you stole a wand and then followed a map on some pages that you took from Peeves and followed that map to your doom. Odd to hear it all reduced to such absurdity. But yes, why do you care about some old wand? I don't really. Ollivander does. It's the pages I'm after. Might they be with the wand in the cave? Indeed. Say, here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest? I'd be happy to show you where to find them. Um. Why did you take the wand? Why would you steal Mr. Ollivander's family wand? The family were always going on about how special it was. So I took it. Who could resist? Sadly, it wasn't special enough to save my neck. No, clearly. I fully intended to return it once I learned it was only special for sentimental reasons. But as you can see, I never got the chance. How did you steal from Peeves? That's quite the accomplishment. How is it possible to steal from Peeves, a poltergeist? I didn't steal the pages from his ghostly form. I merely found them in his wake of destruction. Ah. Uh -huh. He's got a penchant for wrecking things. Books, bottles, suits of armor. Whatever's likely to cause the most chaos. True. I doubt he even noticed they were gone. How... This is delicate, but how did you lose your head? I think I can guess how you died. But who did it to you? I was having a look about when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze. After which I felt, well... Light-headed. That's all I remember. Mm. Hence, if you do visit the cave, be prepared. I can't tell you what for specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. Well, I'll see you at the forest then. If that's the only way for me to get those pages, I'll meet you there. If you don't mind the sight of a, well, my decapitated skeleton, the wand and the pages are yours for the taking. Marvellous. Hmm. Well. A cave in the Forbidden Forest. It seems what could possibly go wrong with that, I wonder. What did, oh. Okay. Haha, -ha, here we are. Let me answer. Another page. Marvellous. Brilliant. Hmm. Ravenia. Any more pages flying around? What's this? Map with floating candles? Ah, so that's the Forbidden Forest, I think, because of the signposts. So maybe use Lumos near there? Ooh, I don't know. Interesting. Hmm. Interesting. Map. Interesting. It doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. Yes, it might be might prove useful at some point. Alright, well <sighs> off to the forest we go, I imagine. <clears throat> oh, but I need to learn how to disarm folks. Hmm. Well, I suppose I'd better head back to the castle and go and settle down in the common room. I do have homework to do after all. Off on another adventure, are we? I am. 
we're going to um, find this poor gentleman's carts, I think. And hopefully, if you're here for my will be easy. I'm afraid I still don't have my car. Oh, hello. What are you selling? Jalal. Hello, sir. What do you sell here? Hello. I'm Jalal Semi, and this is my potion shop. I can answer any questions you have about the town. Oh. Um. Are there any rumours going around? Any whispers going about the town? A goblin called Pergit is causing a bit of a stink. Oh. His gang is attacking travelling vendors. Oh, and now God. business is suffering everywhere. Uh, it would be nice if someone would do something about it. No one wants to pick a fight with a band of goblins, though. <laughs> Which means he's free to do what he wants down in coral ruins. I see. Um, may I see you, Wes? What do you have for sale? I hope to see you again sometime. Yes, I'm going off to fight uh, goblins. So, do... After what Van Rock did to that goblin banker at Gringotts, I shouldn't be surprised at what happened to Orn. D That's a spider. That is a spider. Ugh. All right. Is there anything else? Rebellion. No. It was a sheep. Um. Oh! Hello! Oh, very strange. Uh, that's just crystal. Okay. This is a little... Uh, what's that? Bag of gold. Hmm, interesting. So, what's this? Beasts welcome. Um, that's a dragon. Wow. Revenia. This. What happened here? Hebridean black scale. The Hebridean black is a large dragon that can grow to over nine meters in length. A large rough scale, originally belonging to one of these beasts, is one of the prized possessions that Archie Bickle keeps in his hideout. That thing? I mean, it's not very well, um, very well hidden, is it? Okay, uh, considering it's a prized possession, but I don't think that this is how I should have found this area. I think he may be in some kind of trouble. So, this is another trial of Merlin. Oh, well, I must do it. For the I science. I know what that means. Merlin trial. Mm -hmm. Oh, sheep! Hello, sheep! Are you all right? Do we maybe have to... Yep. Do these again. Hmm. Um. Ah. Any more? Oh, God, there's loads of them. Revelia. Is there another one somewhere? Oh, goodness. Hmm. I'm not seeing any more. I should investigate. Merlin's items. Oh, there you are. Another successful Merlin trial. My goodness. Sheep. Unbelievable. All right. So, this. A dark mongrel. Ha 
Aha! Dark Mongols. What's their story? Dark Mongols. Hmm. Dark Mongols. Defeat Mongols. Okay. Hmm. Well... Uh... Let's have a look. Dark Mongrel. Keeping as much distance as possible from Dark Mongrels will make dealing with them relatively easy. If it gets in close, its attacks can be repelled with shielding charms and then a counter-attack with any mastered spell. As it begins to charge in from afar, blasting it backwards with Depulso is particularly effective. Hmm. Interesting. Well, a dark mongrel. Ooh. How... How very strange. Oh. Rebellion. Hmm. Okay, there's a lot of sheep. Not really a lot of, of anything else. A thornback shooter. What is a thornback shooter? These spiders prefer to attack from a distance, spitting acidic venom. Striking it with a fire spell as it prepares to attack with acidic venom will ignite the spider. Well, I guess we know what we need to do. If that thing comes near us. Avelia. Ugh, how horrible. Ooh. Alright, let's try and get back on the path here. Don't particularly wish to stray too far from it. Balloon, marvelous. An encampment. What's this that? must be it. That's a sack. Violet lock scarf. Hmm. <gasps> Sounds lovely. Rebellion. So this is. Oh. I have a brother who works at Gringotts. Oh. Couldn't pay me enough to sit behind a desk all day. Looks as if there's more than one way to enter. Arn will regret not hmm. joining us. If he doesn't come round now, he'll there is be a mill in trial as well. Hmm. How many of you are there? Enjoy suffering, do you? G the area is still clear. If anybody cares, aha! A sneak attack! Well. One more to go. One more to go. But where is... Ah, up there. Alright. Something. Hmm. Now, to Freon's carts. Yes, let's just have a little look around here. 
Pavilion. Is this a Merlin trial? It is. Anything in here? No, they've set themselves up quite a nice little camp. I'm sure. Mm. Nothing at all. Are these part of the Merlin trial? They must be. Hmm. So what's this? Do you suppose? It is. Can I move it? So where are Arne's carts? Rebellion. Maybe through here. Ah. Light. Quite an enchantment. The carts are returning to on. Well, that's... that's good. I'd sit oh. Oh, well, very good. That's that. Taken care of. Uh, hmm. What does it mean? Mallow sweet. Put some of that down. Ooh. Ah, are these something that we have to... Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Ah, so... On, on here? Alright, how many of those are... Here. So, do they each have their own set? Yes, they do. Ah, I see. Well, what? Ah, there we have it. We have it. This way. Where? Oh. I think there is one more that we Rebellion. need to do, which is this one here. Ah, let's see. Here. Ah, another male in trial done. Brilliant. That wasn't so bad. Hmm. So what was this box for? Maybe, hmm. Ah. Maybe we can bring it over here and get up into this. Aha! There we are. So what's up here? <gasps> Another little chest. Brilliant. Hmm. What a strange little place. Wiganwell potion. Well, 
I suppose I should return to Arne and tell him the good news. Well, he'll know the good news. His carts will probably be back by now. Arne, I come bearing... I come bearing good news. I've just noticed that there are kites. Oh, we might have to go and have a look at those. Hello. Arne, I have good news. Your carts are on their way back. I don't, I don't know what to say. Any hope I have of getting my belongings back was quickly fading. Ramrock's lot called me a fool for believing in the good and wizard kind. Thank you for proving them wrong. Um, it wasn't really much trouble, to be honest. I managed to free your carts fairly easily. Oh, I'm glad you're all right. Oh, I can't wait to have my things back, especially my paints. <gasps> you know, you've inspired me. I've been dealing with witches and wizards for years, and we've always got along just fine. Hmm. Perhaps my next piece will be a tribute to all that is good between us. It's a good idea. It sounds wonderful. What a nice idea, Ron. I wish you luck with it. Yes. Oh, I can't wait to get started. Uh, thank you again for all you've done. Marvellous. Let's have a look at these kites. My, my, my. Wow, they're very pretty. Very pretty. Can I join in? No? Oh dear. What are you doing at the end of here? Thank you for some assistance. Grace. Hello, can I help you? Oh, thank goodness. Yes. My name is Grace Pinch Smedley. Of the Bath, Pinch Smedleys? I was hoping someone would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You see, I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Might you be the one to help me? Um. I mean, it sounds interesting. Diving into the lake sounds like an adventure. Tell me more. Splendid. Precisely the response I'd hoped for. What do you need help retrieving? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. Oh, I'm so dear. sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrolabe vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. Hmm. What's an astrolabe? What exactly is an astrolabe? It's an astonishing ancient navigational tool. Essentially, a handheld model of the universe. It's mainly used for studying the stars, astronomical pursuits, but it has nearly a thousand uses. Fascinating device. Sadly, I'd imagine it's rusted beyond repair now. Still, we'd love to have it returned to us. It would be like getting a bit of my grandparents back. Hmm. Should I know who your family are? You seem to think I might have heard of the Bath Pinch Smedleys. Why would I know of your family? That's like asking why the sky is blue or grass is green. The Pinch Smedley name is synonymous with intellectual curiosity. We are known for our contributions to science and art. I'm surprised you haven't heard of us, frankly. But with all I plan to discover about the world around us, those that don't yet know the name certainly one day will. Hmm. Well, I'll have a think about it. It sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand. But I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and tide schedule. Oh. My best guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. Hmm. I do hope you find the astrolabe. 
It would mean so much to our family. It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see. Hmm. I don't know about just diving into Black Lake. I mean, there could be anything in there. And it... Oh, hello. It seems... Somewhat... Dangerous, yes. Perhaps... Perhaps I could go and take a look and see what I think. And, oh. Oh, leech juice? Oh. Lovely. Marvellous. Hmm. Plus, my robes will get wet. Oh. Not exactly the best plan, but maybe... Miss, um... Smedley, was it? Might I ask a little question of you before I go diving into the lake? If my robes get ruined, will you buy me new ones? <laughs> 